haven't posted in like two weeks hey guys welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new to today as you can probably tell from the title i'm going to be doing a how to get rich part two because my last one was a while ago and i feel like i have some more tips to share with you guys now so we're going to do part two also i'm really sorry if i haven't been posting much i've been focusing on real life recently a little bit but i'm definitely going to get back to posting now i have been inactive for like two weeks so i'm sorry about that anyway so like i did last time i'm going to be trading in the background okay so the first tip that i have is pretty simple but i would definitely recommend that you get yourself a law trap you might be thinking how can that help me but it actually can help in a lot of ways here are some of the most important in my opinion so number one which is pretty obvious it gives you money which obviously doesn't help too much with getting rich but it definitely does contribute the next thing it does is that it gives you age potions which obviously can help you a lot with making neons and stuff so i definitely recommend having one Okay, so, and lastly, the last thing it does is that it also, like, has a small chance to give you a blazing lion, which can really help your inventory because it has about the same value as a neon turtle, which obviously is a really good thing to get for free. So, yeah, I definitely recommend having a lure trap. Okay, so my next tip is to try and trade for at least 30 minutes a day. This way, you're maximising the amount of time that you're in-game, meaning you're, like, more likely to get an overpay faster rather than if you're only trading for, like, 10 minutes a day. Now, I personally don't always do this, um, but then, like, my trading schedule is a bit messed up because, like, sometimes I'll trade for, like, two hours a day, and sometimes I won't even go on to adopt me because I'll be doing other stuff, which obviously is completely fine because it's just a game. Okay, so my next tip is to make any random weird things in your inventory that you don't use into megas or neons. Now, if you have a bunch of cats, I wouldn't recommend making those into a mega or a neon because obviously it's not going to be worth anything. But if you have, for example, like 16 zebras lying around, they can get really big overpays from preppies and stuff. So if you have any random preppy pets lying around in your inventory that you have either 4 or 16 of, I would definitely recommend making... I'm, sorry, I'm not really interested in showing this person what it looks like. It's kind of like a waste of my time. But yeah, I definitely recommend like making things into megas if you have a lot of the pets. For example, if I scroll from my inventory right now, as you can see, I have a bunch of things I can make neon and mega. I have six um six of these, which is not enough for a mega, but I'm working on it. And then I also have a ton of these tigers. I used to have 16, but I did trade a few of them. And I have a lot of zebras and stuff, so I could definitely make a lot of profit if I would actually have the motivation to make these into megas and neons. But Okay, so my next tip is to do trading challenges. Now, if you're wondering what I mean by that, basically it's where you start with a bad pet and go to a better pet. I see these like all over YouTube, but normally they only end up with like a metal ox or something, which really isn't going to help you that much. But if you really persevere, before I've gotten like a neon legendary from a ride potion, and from a like dog, I've gotten myself seven legendaries on my alt account. I'll put a screenshot of my alt account's inventory now, and I got all those pets from a trading challenge which is really helpful because obviously that is pretty much enough to get like a neon dragon or something, which means I pretty much went from an, a dog to a neon legendary. So yeah, I definitely recommend trying a trading challenge. Even if it doesn't work out, it's not gonna hurt to try and it, sometimes it can really help your inventory to grow. Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and also comment down below if you found these tips helpful or not. If you did in my other how to get rich video, it might be better because I do share some other tips in that video so if you haven't watched that yet i'd recommend watching it i'll link it down below but yeah that is the end if you enjoyed leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video also sorry again for being really inactive i'm sorry